There are a number of benefits of being happy that the research has found. Happy people have better jobs, they get more job promotions, they have more friends, they report having more fun in their lives, they're healthier, and they even live longer than unhappy people. I'd also read that the Guinness Book of World Records, oldest people in the world, often come from Okinawa, Japan. So if happy people live long, and a lot of old people live in Okinawa, maybe the people in Okinawa are happy. So we went to Okinawa to find out, and it was more true than I ever could have imagined. We went to a village called Ogimisan, which they've dubbed the Longevity Village because it has more hundred-year-old people living there than anywhere else in the world. My producing partner, Eiji, who's from Japan, had a great idea, which is that we would go to the preschool in Ogimisan to see what does a hundred-year-old person look like when they're one or two or three years old. How do they start this epic journey through life? And when we showed up, the teacher said, today is one of the days that they spend outside of the classroom and they were going to have a foot race through the town. And we followed this group of kids uh, a few blocks away from the school. And then we noticed that there was a group of grandmothers who were kind of converging around the finish line. The race started and the kids ran. And, then, and when the kids ran across the finish line, they were embraced by these grandmothers. And so we were trying to figure out which grandmother belonged to which kid or which kid belonged to which grandmother. And we asked the teacher and she said, oh, no, no, you, you misunderstood. These children are not related to any of these grandmas. These grandmothers just live in the neighborhood and they come to support this race. So the grandmothers aren't even related to these kids by blood. The boundaries of family and of compassion and of love are not as defined in Okinawan culture as they are in American culture. When I was growing up, it was common that people's parents or grandparents would come watch you play sports or, or run a race or do something like that. But it was much less common that an entire group of parents or grandparents from other families would come and watch a group of children that they're not even related to. Actually, I've never heard of that before. But in Okinawa, that's totally normal. That was just one of the cultural traits that exists in Okinawa that I didn't see anywhere else that I have a strong feeling relates to why Okinawans are so happy.